we found that for some kids with learning disabilities, being able to see it and hear it at the same time, that dual modality helped, and it actually helped with the fluency of reading with their eyes. I had no idea. See, most of the people go in education, I'm sure some of you are exceptions. We have no idea. We cannot empathize with what it is like to struggle with reading, because it came to us naturally. I'm sure you get lots of children and young people who have been told or feel like that they can't make it in school. And I certainly felt at that point in my life, um, and I'm embarrassed, even though I had a degree from Yale University uh, and then a master's degree and, and three or four different certification areas, I was thinking, geez, maybe they're right. Maybe, you know, you can't read. Maybe you're not good enough to work and be in school. And I, I can do Braille. And my Braille got to the point that I would be reading like, today I am in Providence, Rhode Island. So that's how I read Braille. Does that sound familiar to you? Mm -hmm. I said, my God, I'm reading like a whole chunk of kids in our school. And I'm finding two things come to me right away. First thing is, I'm not reading as much, okay? Mm -hmm. And also my comprehension, because I'm putting the energy in the decoding, that's going up. My braille speed is 20 to 40 words a minute, okay? My uh, speed with digital text, listening to it, is two to 300 words a minute. Figure out what's more efficient. I'm sure that's the case with many of your students. They find that providing this tool, the kids were engaged in on task more with reading and writing. And I want to stress what this tool does over the readers, you get, you can listen to the books, but they don't help you with the writing aspect. This does the reading and the writing. I'd say use all of them.